gentleman from Nebraska is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, first, first, let me thank uh, two of my good friends, Ranking Member McClintock and Chairman Huffman, for the cordial and elevated discussion today about something that might appear small in the big scheme of things, particularly what's going on in Congress, but nonetheless is a good working part of functioning government on this House floor. This is important to us in Nebraska, and it's important to the rest of America, and I'm Pleased that my good friend Congressman Adrian Smith has been working on this effort to rename the Homestead National Monument of America to the Homestead National Historical Park to clear up some confusion. This small but important change will more accurately reflect the nature and mission of this unique National Service Park unit. The Homestead Act, as we have heard of 1862, it really did forever change the direction of our nation. Let me take through a few facts that have already been mentioned, but I think they're worthwhile emphasizing. In exchange for the $18 filing fee and just this, a commitment to improve the land, any U.S. citizen could farm 160 acres and own it outright after five years. Almost inconceivable to us today, but that's how, this is how this begins. So the National Park Service Union unit dedicated to telling the extraordinary story of these incredible pioneers is located in Beatrice, Nebraska. And thank you, Chairman Hoffman, for clarifying how it's appropriately pronounced, Beatrice, Nebraska. Before redistricting earlier, earlier I used to represent this area, and it's only about 50 minutes from my home in Lincoln. So it's a part of the broad neighborhood of the first and third congressional districts. Homestead is located on, one, on the site of one of the first homestead claims in the United States, and it commemorates the lives and accomplishments of these early homesteaders. It also celebrates those hardy individuals who, heart, through harsh storms and brutal drought and wind and snow and isolation, actually help grow this country. So this minor name change will clear up any confusion about this important site because the word monument generally applies to a single individual or a unique topographical feature. And a homestead is, is so much more. It is a unique piece of open prairie, as we've heard, and it houses the historical records of so many settlers. And so many visitors come looking to learn a little bit more about their ancestors. So, Mr. Speaker, I would like to particularly recognize one individual, uh, Mr. Mark Engler, who is Homestead Superintendent, who is a friend of the Nebraska delegation who sees us quite a lot, and everyone else in the Beatrice community who have helped maintain Homestead as a gem of the Midwest and a treasure for all Americans. Thank you, and I yield back. Gentleman yields back.